Hello, good morning. It's Monday. Monday, I am back home after a weekend away in London, which is very nice. I went to see friends and we went to Arids and tried on a million pounds worth of jewellery, which was rather nice. If you haven't seen that, I think I put it on my Instagram. Um, and yes, we went to the Moet Bar and we had some champagne cocktails, which were very nice. Um, and then what? And then we around, went around some shops, you know, just, just little, little shops like Harvey Nicks and Fortnum's and bought uh, food and booze, basically. Like, nothing practical. Well, I mean, that is practical stuff, but nothing like the Gucci trainers that we actually wanted to buy which were only £575, but was very good and didn't buy them. Yeah. Um, and then in the night, it was a barbecue and Belle's partner had some friends around and so they did manly, ooh, look at him fight kind of stuff. And we watched and went, <laughs> boys. That was nice. And then the next day on the Sunday, we went round car boot and I bought some stuff and I will show you that later. And I had breakfast, um, had a bit of a hangover and yeah, all good. Came back yesterday afternoon and have slept and have slept well. So that is good. So it is now like nearly half past 10 and I've only just kind of gotten up and having first coffee but you know living the dream in it living the dream right i have got a lot of orders going out today so bear with i am going to drink my coffee i'm going to get my 38 awaiting dispatch and then obviously i'm going to tell you about them and you're going to skip that bit because it's a bit boring okay i'll be back soon well, hello, it's now 11 o'clock, so it's taken me half an hour to get all of that together whilst listening to some skunk and Nancy. So, yeah, skip forward about, I don't know, seven minutes? And, um, yeah, or maybe I can do it quicker. Stop talking. Right. A Swarovski little charm bracelet thing. It's got these little blue and pink crystal-y bits. Uh, £14.39. A vintage teal velvet skirt. £12.79, I think I've had that store for, in store for quite a while. A fat face pair of earrings, a little hearts on, £5.99. A sterling silver chain, £20.99. This one, sterling silver with this like uh, resin um, pendant, £9.59. That's going abroad somewhere. This, you can't see it, it's a little cuff bangle and it says it's got like a mama bear and then two little cub bears. Um, that went for £9.59, including post. A sterling silver Rona Sutton bracelet for charms, £13.59. This intaglio look rose ring, £9.59. A Caithness pin, like lapel pin, with like a little dome, like a Fiori dome, £9.99. The Stratton lip view 699 this antique sterling silver thimble and um, by henry griffith and son chester uh, 1895 um is the date it went for 14.99 prism by katie perry earrings six pounds 39 a sterling silver little high heel shoe clip on charm six pounds um these two going off together so this little, see this little Celtic knot there, a sterling silver necklace and a little sterling silver box chain bracelet. They're going for £23.98. Um, there's a going to Julie. Hello, Jewel, Julie. Bought some jewellery, some earrings. 1998 for those lot of earrings. A Phase 8, little lightweight blue sort of jackety top type thing, £14 for that. This Art Deco style bow tie brooch, £9.59. 
Some turquoise inlay fan earrings, five pounds. This Art Nouveau Theory uh, closing enamel type brooch, uh, $17.99. A vintage ring box, leather ring box, $9.99. This Whistles blue leather wristband, $7.99. This faux amber Marquis cut statement ring, £6.50. A plastic geometric link long necklace, $7.99. Some sterling silver dangly heart earrings, seven pounds. A juicy couture charm and like strappy thing bracelet, nine pounds fifty. Sterling silver rose pendant by the Jewelry Channel, fifteen ninety nine. Some clip on sparkly deco style earrings, six pounds thirty nine. A baroque pearl and yellow crystal. Um, beaded bracelet, £13.59. This, oh, yeah. design book for the fabrics by Ashley Wild, uh, £6.39. That was a freebie. They were outside the um, shop over the road. Picked up like seven of them and two of them have sold so far. This Butler and Wilson beaded bag. Uh, $23.99. This vintage rolled gold chain is definitely rolled gold and not actual gold. Uh, £30. These little clip on Aurora Borealis beaded earrings, £6. This vintage Italian ceramic vase, which my friend Nia spotted in a shop, um, uh, has sold for £28. Sparkly leaf friendship bracelet, like a little bolo. Um, as in, like it's adjustable, seven ninety nine for that. This flick flack watch from I think the nineties, isn't it? Sold as spares repairs, but it's probably okay. Um, nine ninety nine. This Japanese damascene. See, this got gold inlay there. Panel bracelet, eighteen ninety nine. A striped resin ring, six pounds fifty. And this vintage peaking glass. Pendant necklace, nine pounds. That's everything. It took just over five minutes. It's going to take longer than that to package all this up. So post all done. It's out. It's like one o'clock now. It's taken that long to do it. I was also, um, uh, I got all sad and things as you do after a good weekend. And then you have like the come down. And cause you know, there's a lot of brain and heart stuff. So obviously you put on the cure and you start crying and things because <sighs> anyways things that I bought in London. So we started off at the the Moet Bar in Harrods um, and we got a little tipsy and then we didn't actually end up spending any money on you know like I said like clothes or shoes or anything like that because it's all disgustingly expensive. So we just bought food instead. But did we buy anything? I don't think we bought anything in Harrods. We went to Harvey Nicks and to Fortnum's because they're sort of all, well, Harvey Nicks is near-ish. Um, and then Fortnum's is like another 10 minute walk away. But anyways, so um, what did I buy from where? I think I bought this one. Yeah, I bought this in Harvey Nicks. It's a little bit, um, yeah. But this is bloody gorgeous bamboo cream. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's rum. It's basically like a Bailey's but with rum. But it is so bloody good, honestly. Just, I mean, I'd have some now. It's like, I think it, it must have like coconut in it as well or something. And like spices and stuff. And it is just beautiful. And then... From Fortnum's. You get anything else? Oh, I got the posh crisps, the um, truffle flavor crisps, and then I also got like truffle mayonnaise and uh, chocolate chestnut liqueur, which I'm obviously going to put aside for Christmas. And then these, um, for some reason, smoked cromal cheese straws. Um, don't know why. <coughs> Who knows? Uh, 
anyway, so that's what I bought. And I also bought some really lush chocolate, well, chocolate Florentines, which, which I ate like on the way around. That's what I bought in Harrods. Chocolate Florentines, bloody lovely. Also got from Fortnum some macarons for my mum as well, but I kind of sneaked one. And we also had like a sticky bun and stuff from Harrods. Anyways, so that was stuff that I bought in shops. Car boot sale stuff. For £10, I got these. These are a regular choice brogues, like a kind of mock croc in blue, um, which are rather groovy. Yeah, my size, I'm keeping them, obviously. Also probably for myself, who knows, but <laughs> this Mystic Meg t-shirt smells a bit cupboardy. But that's fine. That can go in the wash pretty soon. But how groovy is that? Hilarious. And then uh, that was two pounds. And then for a fiver, this Art Deco clock, which the insides is like, it's all dusty and broken and dirty. And it probably doesn't work, I should imagine. But this is uranium glass. So even just like the, um, the glass casing, I should be able to get like 50 odd quid for but I'm just wondering whether it's worth fixing because it'll probably go for a hell of a lot more if it's fixed. And if I can find a decent clock fixer type dude, then obviously I've still got my um, Bakelite as well, my Bakelite clock that I would like fixing, but we'll see. And I think that is everything, yeah. Right, I'm probably gonna fix myself some lunch now, I should imagine, maybe. I'm not even sure if I'm hungry yet. Certainly another drink anyway. And um, I'm not sure what I fancy doing this afternoon. I've got to do some listing. I've got to. I haven't done any for tonight. I might just go and have another little cry about things. Very silly. Anyways, back in a bit. There you go. This is lunch. Some uh, low carb toast, eggs, and um, Frank's red hot sauce. Because, you know, <laughs> Frank's is life. Well, good morning. Yes, morning, because it is actually the next day. Um, I had a little accident yesterday. <laughs> My friend Nia came around for, you know, a bit of cheering up. And then we went and had a bit of an adventure that may have involved a couple of glasses of wine and some stuff. Oops. Only Literally only two glasses of wine. Anyways, yep, so that happened, and then I came home and ate cabbage and sausages. Anyway, today is Tuesday. Um, I need to wash some of this out of my hair because this dye, for some reason, it seems to be just going everywhere on everything, which is really annoying. So I'm gonna wash some of this out, and I've gotta do listings today, so Gonna decide what to list. Not decide now. Let's have a look. What can I grab from the box? Right. Maybe vintage gold tone necklaces. Let's see what we've got in here. Nice chain. Nice collar. Chain. Collar. Collar, the chain. Yes, I think it's going to be that kind of day. One, two, three, four, five, six. I try and get ten similar things. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's more though. Hmm. Ten things anyway, because then at least that is tonight sorted and then um obviously i've got things going out today which i think is about seven of them so if you can bear it i will be back shortly with what those things are okay so here's go what's going out today some mikey little flower neon card earrings five pounds a beetle a dead beetle not even kidding I found it in a jewellery lot. It's a dead beetle. Sold for £8. Um, a yellow gold 
and black diamond and little diamond um, necklace, obviously, that went for £110, took an offer on that. A sterling silver little clog shoe charm, that went for £6.99. A Timex watch, sold as spares repairs, but it does actually work, I think. Um, £5, it's got a lot of like scratches on the front of it. Um, and these lovely sterling silver and turquoise earrings went for £16.99. So there we go. Oh, and off on Etsy, go into an irregular hello. Is this lovely nine carat gold cross? So I shall package these up and then suppose I better start listing. So I've washed my hair and watched a horror film oh, called Session Nine. It's very good. I'm gonna have a little cuddle with us in the this is my dinner that I'm having tonight. So we've got some salad, some steak, tomatoes, spring onions, um, some cheese, some cheesy bits, and Caesar salad dressing. Yum yum. Dinner was last. I am now watching some. Can you see some Emily D. Baker, and then I'm gonna watch some more horror films. Yay! So that's me. Um, I know it's been a weird couple of days. But there we go. I shall catch you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.